we're gonna need some cheese because we're gonna make this extra cheesy. Yeah. And then another layer of cheese. More cheese. This is yes, it's magical. Be more cheese. cheese. All right, I got it down now. You're the cheese man, Bob. Cheese. Cheese. Cheese man. More cheese. <laughs> this is a fatty. So then you just add more cheese. And then we're gonna nice like cheesy situation. What's up, everybody? On For Real Try This, we're gonna be using some Jack in the Box ingredients today. We're gonna be putting in a cow zone and we're gonna be making some good good. We got our guest here, Brandon Lachey. Yes. Brandon, why don't you take it from here? All right, so today we are gonna take the deluxe Jack in the Box breakfast platter. We're gonna throw that bad boy inside of a pizza crust and create our own breakfast calizo. So we've got some mini pancakes, some eggs, some bacon, sausage, and hash browns all going inside that pizza crust. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open this. We have good experience. Which, oh, no. which, which one of you can I'll do it? I'll give it a shot. Okay. I'll give it a shot. So this is going to be super easy. We're basically just going to roll out this pizza dough. We're okay. going to layer the ingredients that are inside of this. Nice. <laughs> there you just go. Beat it. Get it on up. And go ahead and yeah. uh, start rolling it out. So this is a square crust, so we're gonna have to sort of play with it to form our... Oh, this is just one big it's piece. It's just one big piece. That's so we're good. just gonna kind of stretch it just to get it that round-ish shape so that we can actually fill our calzone. You're just kind of pushing it and pulling it so that the it's not super thick on the spots, you, you know? just like... Yeah, you, yeah. Look at that. So boss, you are good just at Just make sure you don't uh, give us a rip. Too much. Sabas, you're really <laughs> pushing the limit today. Okay. So, first layer. I kind of just wanted to touch it. How's it feel? Feels nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a boss. It. It's okay. Okay, so you can start with this one. We'll huh? open this one. And we also are going to need some cheese because we're going to make this extra cheesy. Extra cheesy. Just use my just. As well. Yeah, go ahead and use your on. fingers and just place your egg out like this. Uh, Obviously, before we start anything, we, you know, we wash our hands, so don't worry. Yeah. So we're putting the cheese on top of this, and then we're We're going to put the cheese actually like in the layers so that when you cut into it, you're going to open that up and you're going to get a big, gooey, cheesy, delicious situation. And then you guys can decide which layer you want to go with next. Maybe a meat or something. Let's do, so I think we need some meat, Sabas. Right? So we can Ooh, just we go ahead and put sausage. My meat on sausage. Sausage? <laughs> just lay that meat down. And then another layer of cheese. <laughs> More cheese. Ah, this yes, is it's magical. Gonna be, oh, that is going to be very Spread that cheese. Are we going like, to? We're going to roll it up. Oh. Yeah. So next, let's go ahead. Yes. Oh, yes. Hash browns. Can we do one like, or they both have But let's keep it that way just so that yeah. we have a, a, a nice fold. Like More cheese. cheese. All right, I got it down now. You're the cheese man, Bob. Cheese man. we go with bacon next? You hear that, ladies? Yes, bacon we can do next. Let's go. Yeah. This is amazing because you can take your leftover jumbo breakfast platter and create a whole new dish out of it. Oh, this you is know? crazy. Uh, let's see what you yeah. did. Right? Yeah, let's see what you did there. Exactly. Cheese. Cheese. Cheese man. More cheese. <laughs> Every time, more cheese. Cheese. This is a fatty. Pancakes? Pancakes. Let's go. Let me get like one in there. Is that enough? Is there one more? Yeah, go. one more. Go for it. Cheese. Get it on there. All right, get the cheese, man. I gotta figure it out by now. It looks like like an American breakfast like burrito. Right? And then we're just gonna take a little cup of water. We're gonna use this Let's to go. actually seal the ends of our calzone. So we're gonna take the dough. We want to fold it over, and then we're gonna get rid of any excess because we don't want a super doughy dough situation. Get rid of those extra ends. We're just gonna take a little bit of water and sort of go around the edges just so that it sticks. And then you can sort of take your finger and fold. I would have never thought of that. Just so that you That's get a, a nice little edge. And then we're just gonna pop this bad boy in our toaster oven at 420 degrees for about six to seven minutes yeah. and you're done. That looks fire. And that wasn't hard to make. And just to make sure that we don't have any air pockets, we wanna take a knife and just let it breathe, just a little bit. Wouldn't like stuff come out of there if you cut it? Uh, like the it's cheese? It's gonna reseal itself essentially when it's in the oven. It's just to let the steam out so that you don't get a big, wet, moist situation at the end. So you just want little pockets. And if you wanted, you could dust this with an egg wash on the top to give you a nice golden brown color. Or what we can do is so then you just add more cheese. <laughs> 
On, on top? top? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Might as well just sprinkle the rest of the bag on here. And then we'll get a nice, like, cheesy situation. That looks so good. Heck yeah. Right onto our tray. Let's go. Into the oven. This is gonna be quick. This is like six to 10 minutes max. Oh, cool. uh, super fast. You really don't need a lot of time. And like I said, 425 or 420 on bake. And that's it. Mm. Ooh. Yum. Look at that. You wanna do the honors of cutting it in half so we can see what the inside looks like? <laughs> you could just eat that. How's one. that cut? That, it was okay, but you kind of smushed it. <laughs> I thought I was doing a good job. You kind of just want to like slice instead of mushing. Oh, you just. Yeah. I try to be a little fancy. Why don't you slice another? How, how would you slice it? Okay, look, we'll slice some little ones so that we can. I try to look like a pro when I did it wrong. Yum. Wow, that looks really good. Right? Mm. All right, you want to do the honors and take the first bite and tell us how it tastes? Or I'm should down. we? I'm down, I'm down. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Going at it. Ooh, Jack. That is really good. <laughs> Wanna take a bite too? That is really good. I like it. Mm. Let, me, let me just go out of there. Dude, you literally get all the flavor profiles. Uh, you get the smoky of the bacon, the cheese, the crispy hash brown. The, a little bit of the egg. The sweetness of the pancake. What the sausage perfect. on there too. The cheese. The cheese, the freaking cheese man, bro. <laughs> I will definitely have this as breakfast. Right? 100%. You can take your Jack in the Box, refresh it, and create another delicious meal. That was actually yeah. really good. Seriously, for real, try this. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. If you guys have any ideas for us to try some new ways to make our breakfast burritos or any foods from Jack in the Box, let us know in the comments down below and I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching. For real, Yo. try this.